Okay, in this animation, we're just going to take a look at the difference between certain types of particle systems. And what I have in here is just this big giant plane and uh, have it set to fluid particles. So a lot of fairly default settings, but there are 4,500 particles in the scene. And it's emitting a cube, just a simple cube. There's my object, there's a cube. And you can change the size of it right in here. And uh, But when I came into here, what I'm picking now instead of Newtonian particles by default I'm using the fluid particles and so it gives it a nice effect so but really what helps give it the effect is down here under the field weights under this tab like this you come in here to the gravity field gravity weight and you turn that to zero by default it is one which is going to give you the effects of earth gravity and so turning it to zero allows things to float up like that. So it's a nice effect. Maybe you're making bubbles in a champagne glass or something like that. Yeah, maybe I'll make one in the future. They're easy enough. And then, uh, and then let's see what the Boyds do. Boyds it takes a second to switch over, but these are more for like, uh, you know, birds or flying insects and things like that. They work well. This acts like it's going to crash, but it won't. All right. And so there, those go. And those are nice. So that has its own. And I've tried these. I've messed with these before for all kinds of cool effects that they they give. So those are that's powerful. And then I mean, you see how many options you can work with. So you have to have a specific idea in mind. But I'm really just trying to uh, get everybody else grounded in the basics for using Blender because I'm not really the greatest artist on the planet. I assure you. And I've seen great illustrators and animators before. And I'm just trying to help them get past all the grunge work of getting you know the basics of blender behind them so they don't have to so they can just focus on doing their artwork all right and then the newtonian is the basics that's the default for the particle system and you can see well it's kind of boring right <laughs> well it is relative to those others and all right well maybe that gives you some ideas if you're new to the particle system and the options are numerous and many and then you can add all kinds of effects to this and it, you know the combinations just never end all right well that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video